we'll do adding and subtracting. So basically, in general, when you are multiplying, just um, whenever you have a term outside of a parenthesis, what we're going to apply is your distributive property. So the distributive property basically states is when you have a term outside of a parenthesis, then you're basically going to multiply that term times both of your terms inside of the parenthesis. So you'd have AB plus times AC. So in this case, basically what I'm doing is I'm going to multiply x squared times all three of those terms. All right. So when doing that, basically what I am doing is I'm saying 3x squared times x squared plus x times x squared minus 3 times x squared. Does everybody see what I have done? Sometimes we like, put those in parentheses so you guys can see. I just took the x squared, and I multiplied it by every single one of the terms. Is that OK with that? So now we're going to be multiplying. But when we're multiplying, we're going to be using our rules of exponents. So when I multiply, remember when we talked about multiplying x squared times x squared, we're going to add the powers, right? So in this case, I have 3, 2x squared plus 2 plus 2 plus x. Remember, this is x to the 1, 1 plus 2 minus 3x squared. Does everybody see how I got to this step and what I did for this step? Please don't feel bad asking questions or slowing me down, because otherwise I'll just keep on going. OK. So 2 plus 2 is going to be 3x to the fourth plus x to the third minus 3x squared. Last thing we want to do is make sure that we write our polynomial in descending order. And you guys can see in this case, we have the powers in descending order. So we're good. Okay.